Now, it's been a little bit of time between when I made my first video and this video, when I decided to get out into the open and get some fresh air. It's been a very interesting ride making these videos and the type of support I've gotten from you all is absolutely amazing. So I have to thank all of my new subscribers. If you do like the content that I'm making, I do keep posts and updates on the content I create on Subscribestar. Now you don't have to pay money to see most of my posts. Personally, I would prefer if you actually went over to the Black Knight's Patreon and supported him over there as he is the author. Star Shatter Chapter 2. Awesome is by far my favorite chapter. Now, it is the second chapter of the Star Shatter book that I've read, so to be fair, it is uh, the second chapter that I read. Now, what I like the most about the chapter itself is the character Awesome. At first, I was thinking, oh, why is the title name Awesome? That's a very odd title name for a chapter. As we get started, we start diving into this little hamster who suddenly finds himself on a station that isn't on any type of map or anything that he can recall. Now, Awesome starts exploring the station itself and on it he finds a lot of dead aliens and a lot of dead Terrans. The aliens happen to be Tazarin, which he recognizes immediately, and he notes that just recently a colony of rabbits, mostly rabbits, was just attacked, which happened in the first chapter that we reviewed, Lily. There is a little bit of a continuous universe going on in this book. That Awesome is a scavenger, and a very, very good one at that. He has absolutely amazing engineering skills. Now, he's been alone in a escape pod, as we'll, we're gonna find out later and it's kind of driven him a little teeny eeny bit mad and going through this massacre essentially of charred bodies with ash floating everywhere in a low gravity environment, he sees a lot of dead families and I guess that's a little traumatizing. Awesome, after exploring the space, comes across a very, very incredibly cool rifle, which reminds me of that gun from Gundam Wing that the main character has, which is basically a giant beam cannon that cuts through anything. So Awesome has a giant beam cannon that can cut through anything, which makes him awesome. Now, we see the little cocky guy running around, and when he encounters some Tazarans, he goes to battle, and the little guy tends to scavenge what he can from them. Awesome eventually runs across a thing called a virtual intelligence. Virtual intelligence are similar to Cortana from the Halo series. They do have complex thoughts and artificial intelligence, but shorten lifespans. A controlled lifespan that prevents them from becoming fully autonomous AIs for the thing called the G-Net, which is a collection inside the Star Shadow universe of various internets from various species, some even long dead, that contain all the knowledge of the universe and tons of apparently rogue AI, which could be pretty scary if you really think about it because we all have seen the movie Terminator. And we've seen what the Terminators can do, which is kill people. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I sometimes get off track. Anyway, as we continue through um, him meeting this uh, VI called Alice, she starts talking a little bit about creator Sinclair and a little bit about the base itself. Now, because Awesome has downloaded her on his PDA and she's highly compressed, she doesn't have full access to her memories, or as she calls it, her database. We also get a glimpse of some weird, mysterious thing that this research base in particular was researching, a alien obelisk. <laughs> I have no clue what it is, and neither will you. 
unless you've actually read ahead of me and then you know what it is, but if you did, then we find out that Alice was very attached to her creator and the people who were living on this base. Um, she helps Awesome scavenge together parts from a fighter that they find in order to escape the base because they suspect that the command fleet that attacked the base is still out there, which Awesome can't really detect. The base is completely shut down. So they throw together this uh, fighter, which is basically this crazy amalgam of engines and giant weapons, but with practically no shielding. But because Alice is a VI, she can function as, well, several people as once, even more. So this gives Awesome an incredibly sharp fighting edge. Now, when they take off into space, the Tazarin commander detects them. And what happens from here is a incredibly awesome battle. Now, I don't want to get into too many details, but let's just say that you gotta, you gotta read it because this is by far the frigging best thing I have read in a long time. And it brought smiles to my face. And I, and I, and I messaged the author and told him, yeah, this is, this is great, man. This is great. This chapter is going to be reviewed by me today. And that was yesterday. So I, I didn't do it that day. Um, yeah. I'm going to give this chapter a rating, and I'm going to give it a nine out of seven. This has been absolutely awesome, this chapter. Awesome, get it? Awesome. That's all for now. I think this review is concluded. So if you like the content that I make, click that little bell down below so you get all my notifications. Head over to Subscribestar so you can keep track of all my updates. You can, of course, donate to me, but preferably go ahead and go over to Patreon and help out Aragmar, help him make more books because the guy is good and he needs your help. I wanna make sure that you guys are enjoying the series, so if, if you're liking this video content, you know, like it, share it, remind it on Minds. If you're on normal social media like Twitter, share it there. If you are, I, I, I like getting that feedback too. And if you have any suggestions for how I could make it better, please let me know in the comments down below or through any of the means of social media that you have. I'm on practically all of them. Also, if you do not like to use YouTube itself, this channel is mirrored on BitChute at the same exact username, which is Adeptus Azul. Anyway, that's all for now. See you in the next video.